Hello and welcome back to Map the World. Today we're going to take a look at the United States of America and the cultural closeness or cultural distance that the US have with uh, other countries. Uh, for this I prepared this map and uh, in case you wonder how I did this, I took several indicators that help you to measure the culture of a society, of a country, like for example uh, Hofstede or the so-called Big Five personality traits. If you want to know more about these, then just follow the links in this video. They will lead you to two other videos. I really recommend you to take a look there. But for now, let's take a closer look at this map that I have prepared. In order to, for you to understand this, you have to know that uh, green, the color green, uh, means that the cultural closeness of those countries with the American society is very big. So the, there's a big, or if you want to say it like that, big closeness, a small distance. And if the countries are shown in a more reddish color, then it means that the cultural distance it is very large. As you can see, there are only a few countries that have a very big cultural closeness when you compare them with the United States. And all of those countries are English-speaking, Anglo-Saxon countries, which all have the same roots. They all are descendants from the United Kingdom. And they all have in common that they are colonies, former colonies, and uh, they also all used to be so-called frontier societies. And maybe this is the reason this uh, kind of similar historical development, uh, maybe this is the reason why uh, those countries like Australia, South Africa or Canada are very close in cultural terms to the United States. Other European countries like, of course, the UK or Central European nations like the Netherlands or Germany also share a lot of cultural similarities with the United States which doesn't come uh, as a surprise because, as I said before, the United States, they have their roots in the United Kingdom. And a lot of uh, immigrants uh, that came from Europe to the United States uh, have their roots in Central Europe, for example, Germany. But uh, we can also see that some Latin American nations like Brazil or Mexico seem to share a lot of similarities, cultural similarities with today's United States. This might be because there is, as you might know, a big Latin or Hispanic population in the United States. It's growing very fast. And maybe that's the reason why uh, we can see that there are a lot of similarities, because those people with Hispanic, Latin backgrounds, they incorporate their values into the society of the United States. And so maybe that's an explanation why we can see it here on this map that there are some uh, similarities, some big cultural closeness. If we go further down the scale, if we widen the gap of cultural difference, then we can see that a lot of other European nations, mostly southern European nations, come into the picture, but we can also see some uh, other Latin American nations coming in. And then we see uh, in the Far East some nations popping up, like China, Korea, Thailand or India. It's quite hard to explain why those countries seem to share a lot of similarities with the American culture. So there are a lot of Indian people, a lot of Chinese people living in, in the United States. Uh, Southeast Asia, you can also say that those cultures also share a lot of ideas that you can find in the United States. Uh, for example, the willingness to work hard, the willingness to achieve a lot in life. Those are things that are shared in the American society and in Far Eastern societies. So maybe that's the reason why you can uh, see those similarities. If we widen the gap a little bit further, then we can see the first African nations, except of South Africa, of course, and also uh, many uh, Eastern European nations and Russia. Here you can see that um, there aren't that many cultural similarities left. There are still are some, but uh, in general, yeah, the, you can see that those societies seem to become more and more like different in cultural terms when you compare them with the United States. And uh, this increases the further we go down the scale. So now the Middle Eastern nations come in, the Islamic nations, uh, also some European nations like Iceland or the Czech Republic. At the end, at the lower end of the scale, we have finally uh, Belgium, Slovakia and the Ukraine. 
And here it seems that the people in those countries share the least amount of cultural similarities with the United States of America. Practically speaking, this means that when you want to do business with another person uh, or travel to another place, then if you go to Australia, then of course you will have it a lot easier to like talk with people there because you uh, have the same language as them, but also because their culture is very similar to your own culture. However, if you as an American go to an Islamic country, then there are a lot of differences uh, that you have to be aware of and a lot of things you have to keep in mind because people there just have different values uh, or act differently. So this map should give you a first very basic idea about where people have like the same cultural traits as in the United States. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. There are more to come and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for checking in and have a good time.